CBS 17 is your local election headquarters, and for many of the people who want to be in power in Raleigh, it's literally no contest this year. Not at all. There's a significant number of people who are running against no one. They're unopposed in the general, uh, to be in the General Assembly, and our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland has more on why voters won't have any choices in their races this year. Compared to 2020, there are many more districts this time around where there's no competition. Today, I talked to some of the people recruiting candidates to run for these positions about why that is. Election day is the time to choose, but this year, many voters won't have a choice to make. After the filing period for candidates closed Friday, some of them have already won. In 20% of the seats in the state general assembly, only one person is running. Meredith College political analyst David McLennan says it's a major difference from the last two elections. 2018 and 2020, we had a very um, full ballot. Of the 170 seats in the state legislature, Democrats have no candidates running in 41 of them, compared to 10 for Republicans. Stephen Wiley has been recruiting Republicans to run for the state house, with polling indicating it could be a strong year for his party. Especially when we're looking at districts that are traditionally more of reaches. I mean, we were really looking for strong candidates in seats that we normally would not consider playing in. House Democratic leader Robert Reeves says in recent years they recruited candidates for as many races as possible, but took a different approach this time. What I wanted to make sure we did and what our team wanted to make sure we did this time is really more relationship building in the community. And sometimes that relationship building meant people not running. And I, I know that seems counterintuitive, but just like you said, you had people saying, look, what are my realistic chances of winning? McLennan says the recent redistricting battle is the biggest factor, with the new district lines affecting how easily a candidate can win. But he says the lack of choices for voters is a problem for democracy. But if they don't have any choices, it really kind of means that it's difficult for voters to hold someone accountable. The Republican Speaker of the House, Tim Moore, and Republican Senate Leader Phil Berger are among those running unopposed this year. There are still races that are contested, though, and the primary for those will be on the 17th of May. In Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. Michael, thank you. The average price of gas.